Hello, in one of the previous tutorials we looked at how to create lists and uh, we created vertical lists, so bullet point lists um, or unordered lists and also numbered lists or ordered lists and the lists that we created were vertical but in this tutorial we're going to look at how to create horizontal lists so you can actually use lists to create menus so if you wanted to create like a, a vertical sidebar navigation menu then you could use a list and you could just um, have no bullet points so just list items without any bullet style or numbers or anything like that and you can also use it to create horizontal menu bars so we'll look at how to create a horizontal list with links in this tutorial and also how to um, make it so that there's no um, no bullet points on each of those list items so they're just going across the screen um, at the top of the page spaced out. Okay, so to start with, we're going to create a um, div, but um, I've also, I've got a uh, CSS file here that is linked here, so stylesheet19.css, which is over here in this other tab. So we'll also have to add some CSS there. Okay, so in the body section, we can add a div uh, and we'll just give it an ID of nav and then we'll just make sure that we close off that div tag there as well. And then we're going to create an unordered list here inside the div. So we need to use the L UL tag for unordered list. We'll also give that an ID and we might as well just call it something like nav list. Okay. And we'll make sure to close off that unordered list tag there as well. All right. So inside this unordered list, we're going to add some list items. So we'll use the li tags for list item. And we'll add the first one. And we'll also give it, we'll make it a link. So we'll use the ah, whoops, let's make sure I've got that um, lesson sign there. So ahref equals. And then inside the quotation marks, I'm just going to add a hashtag. So I don't know what the link will actually be yet. Um, so I'm not going to add in like http um, www.something.com or or um, index.html or something like that. I'm just going to put a hashtag there as a placeholder for now and you can add your link inside those quotation marks later on. Alright, so um, we'll just put in link one there and close off that link tag and there we go, we've got the first item on the list and we might add five. So all we need to do is just copy and paste this so we have five lines, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and just change it from link one to link two, link three, link four, and link five. There we go. All right, so if we wanna actually have these as links with proper links going to different pages, then you just need to replace those hashtags there with actual um, file names. So like index.html, about.html, photos.html or something like that or the full link so the full web page link okay so we'll save that and we'll open that up in the browser and there we go so we just have a normal vertical uh, unordered list there with the bullets or dots there okay but that's not quite what we want we want this to go across horizontally and we also don't want these dots or bullets okay so um, and we might want a little bit of space in between each link. So you might have noticed, I created these divs here. Hopefully you did notice. Created these divs and, sorry, one div and um, an honored list there. So created two IDs. All right, nav and nav list. I've also got the style sheet. So now I can go to that style sheet and I can start um, applying styles to the either the nav um, div or the um, nav list list items. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not actually gonna worry about applying a style to the nav um, div yet, but I will apply a style to the list items. So I'm going to refer to the list by its ID, which is nav list. And then I'm going to apply this style to the actual list items within that list. So I don't wanna apply it to any other lists on my web page, just the list items inside this list. So I have hashtag nav list and then the li or list item tag and oops li 
And then inside these um, two curly braces, I'm going to have uh, display and the property there is, the value is inline. So this, I've got display inline and that basically is going to make it horizontal. So save that and refresh that page. Now it's a horizontal list, okay? Now, um, you might have noticed that it's actually, the bullet points have actually disappeared, but if you do want the bullet points or dots to disappear on any list, you can use this um, property. So list style type and set that to none. Okay, so it seems to have already applied it anyway, but if it was a vertical list, um, so what, what might do is just delete this line here just to show. Let's just save and refresh. All right, there we go. So it's still a vertical list. We've taken away that display property there, but notice that the bullets aren't there, the dots aren't there anymore. So it seems to just take them away when you set it to an inline display, but we can still put that in there anyway. It doesn't matter. Okay, so display inline, list style type none, and padding. We'll add padding to the right of each link, each list item, and we might add about 20 pixels in there. All right, save and refresh. There we go. All right, so it's a horizontal list now. There are links for each list item, and uh, they, there is also 20 pixels of padding in between each uh, link. So this can become a horizontal menu. You can then go and apply um, some styles to the entire div. So maybe a, a different background color, and then you could also apply different colors to the um, links, and maybe um, a back, background for each list item. So maybe a rollover effect when you move the mouse over different list items, so different links. So you can add a whole heap of CSS properties there and um, apply a range of styles there. But that's how to get a basic horizontal list and how to use a horizontal list as a horizontal navigation bar with links. All right, thanks for watching.